is coming up and I'm so excited for it. But before it comes up, thought I'd do a really quick video on nutrition for you guys. You can have an amazing Christmas and eat delicious things while still keeping it healthy. So I'm gonna share three tips that I personally utilize because I have an inner gremlin and if I don't kind of think about my nutrition, then I just go rampant and it doesn't stop the next day. I wake up the next day and I'm like leftovers and then it just, you know, it all just falls apart. So this is particularly for people who, you know, are kind of like me and once you fall off the bandwagon, you fall off the bandwagon. If you're someone who can just, you know, let loose for two days and then go back to normal, great. If you're someone where this is gonna end up making you start the year really badly, try these few tips. So, tip number one. Tip number one is to pre-eat. This sounds funny, but I do this in life. So if I'm going out somewhere where I know there's gonna be delicious food, I eat something healthy at home. So if I'm going to a family lunch, or if it's at my place, then even better, I'll just eat something first. So I eat something that's healthy, you know, maybe lower in fat, low in carbs, just maybe some nice protein. So it might be some sort of, I don't know, chicken salad or you know, fish and salad or something. So that you already have something, you're not as desperate. <laughs> you don't uh, rush to the, I don't know, uh, potato salad and just destroy it. So yeah, pre-eat, my number one tip, I generally do that. My second tip is to go for main meals as opposed to snacks. So I find that generally at Christmas lunches there'll be a lot of snack stuff. There might be pralines lying around, there might be, you know, cheese platter, there might be canapes, yeah, canapes. And, <laughs> and they add up really quickly. So I try and minimize, you know, the, the snackage and focus on the main meal. So now to the main meals. Uh, with main meals, depending on where you are, we all eat different things. I'm gonna chat kind of about Australia. I think a lot of the world eats this stuff too. A lot of places have Christmas ham. I don't eat ham, but a lot of places have Christmas ham. Ham actually tends to be quite lean. Turkey tends to be quite lean. Seafood tends to be super lean. So, you know, prawns, octopus, all that stuff, white fish. Not the fatty fish, like salmon's not lean, <laughs> but leaner if it's wild. But yeah, those things tend to, to be quite lean anyway. And so the calories and Christmas tend to be hidden in the sides and the snackage. Sides wise, it's stuff like, you know, your mash with all the butter in there and your uh, cream. People put cream in mash, people put cheese in mash, mm, Parmesan crust, yeah. Uh, <laughs> things like roasted duck fat potatoes, sauces, aiolis, mayo, they tend to have tons of calories in them. So for example, if you look at a tablespoon of mayo, you're looking at probably around close to 100 calories. If you have, you know, what do you have on turkey? You have uh, gravy on your, I don't know what you put gravy on, gravy is super low in calories. So a gravy instead of a creamy sauce makes a huge difference. Cranberry sauce instead of a creamy sauce, huge difference. Again, just not going wild with sauce in general will make a big difference. Things like salads. Salads, really nice salads tend to be full of things that are non-salad related, like nuts, seeds, sauce, croutons, those things add up and often you can end up eating a salad that you thought was healthier than your mash and it may be worse. Cool, now, so for the most important part, dessert, my favorite part of the whole year in every occasion, I tend to go for foods that are higher carb, less creamy, fatty once again, because fats have nine calories per gram. It's much easier to rack up calories eating that. I also just happen to prefer these foods so I'm lucky. So for example, for Christmas, I get really excited about Pandora, which is that Italian spongy cake with a little sachet of sugar that you put on top. Yes. Or gingerbread men. I love gingerbread men. Super low in fat, tends to be super high in sugar, but just don't eat crazy amounts of it. I do usually have a little bit of marzipan. Marzipan's so yum. It's made of almond, almond paste. Super high in sugar, super high in fat, really easy to eat way too much of that. So 
I just, uh, even with good foods, I think the key thing is just to not go rampant. <laughs> just be, be reasonable. I tend to, once again, go for more fruity things too. If there's options like cherries or berries, I'll go that. And a little bit of Pandora, a little bit of gingerbread, as opposed to having things like trifles, shortbread. Shortbread's just filled with butter. I can never have one piece of shortbread. I usually end up having half a box, so I just avoid the shortbread. Things that have ice cream on top, cake tends to be super high in calories, and then if you add ice cream on top and whipped cream, then it's really adding up. Trifles, uh, cream on things like eggnog. Eggnog is basically like a really boozy thick shake. Uh, pecan pies or tarts. Pecan is so delicious, but it's a nut, so things that are filled with nuts and dry fruit tend to really, really add to the count. But at the end of the day, it is Christmas, so go forth and be merry, but those are my tips. So top three tips are to pre-eat, go for main meals over snackage, so avoid the snack traps, and with the main meals, go for the lean options by avoiding sides that just add tons of calories or excessive sauces. And uh, with desserts, once again, I tend to go for more of the Pandora, Panettone, uh, rather than like the trifles, cakes with creams. Bye-bye.